we pissing our pants yet? Boy, do I get a feeling we're getting close. Anyway, folks, welcome to my second tier ranking list for The Walking Dead characters. Let me get my reading glasses on because I am an old man. Um, I would have worn my better jacket, but this one is just the first one I could grab. And the other ones are kind of buried in a lot of shit right now. So, uh, what we got here is my second attempt at doing a, a tier maker for uh, the Walking Dead characters. Because I know a lot of people got pissed off at me because I put Daryl in the decent thing. And it has a lot to do with the writing of Season 8, not the actor, Norman Reedus, or the character itself. Um, I don't know if I clarified that in that video or not. Um, typically, when I upload a video to YouTube, I don't watch it ever again. Uh, so, I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but that was kind of why I put him in decent here because I thought the writing behind a lot of characters was just dog shit, stupid, didn't like it. But, uh, as you can see, and I'm not patronizing to anybody here, I did put Daryl in the top tier, or I'm going to put Daryl in the top tier alongside Negan and Rick, who are my top three characters, at least the male ones. Um, the rest we'll kind of figure out as we go. So what we got here is you got, you know, the top one, of course, Negan, Rick, Daryl, top three favorites. Um, awesome tier, which is kind of like grade A, good tier, grade B, decent tier, grade C. Mad tier, don't give a fuck. Disappointment tier, I expected more out of them. Garbage people tier, and because we love him so much, Scott Gimple gets his own little tier. Don't you feel special, Scott Gimple? Especially for what you did to Carl. So, yeah, Daryl, obviously, his own fucking tier. Uh, so, the reason why I put him in decent tier in my previous video of this was because I thought the writing of Season 8 was really just bad. Um... Not top to bottom bad, but just in general bad. And just the conflicts that Rick and him were having and some of the decisions that he was making in Season 8 just didn't jive with me and I thought they were stupid. And I attribute that more to the writing, less to the actor. I will almost always blame the writing before I blame the actor. But um, Season 9, which I did watch because Season 8, I was like, yeah, I'm done. This, this show's just kind of losing me a little bit. I watched season nine because I heard everybody saying it was really fucking good. I'm like, all right, fine. I'll give it a chance. Five episodes in, I'm like, yeah, okay. Season nine, really fucking good. Um, and then season 10, Daryl, was probably the best Daryl, the best of Daryl I've ever seen. And then I've really liked him in season 11. Barring the beginning segments with uh, when they were in the subway station with Negan and Maggie and all them, I thought Maggie, like, I never hated Maggie and Gabriel more than I ever hated them then. Because I thought they were making all the wrong decisions. Like, yeah, I get you hate Negan. And by all means, you have every right to hate the guy for what he did to Glenn and Abraham and, you know, what he did to the other communities. But at the same time, it's like the dude's making a lot of fucking sense. Like, he's making all the right calls and whatnot. So it's like, you know, maybe listen to him. All right, so next we have Addie. Uh, pff, meh, I didn't give a shit about her. Uh, I mean, she was cute and all, but... Her dying, I was like, oh, that sucks, but I don't care. Uh, Margo, again, meh. When Negan killed her for attacking Lydia, I was like, you know, sure, whatever. Alden, uh, good tier. I really liked Alden. He's definitely a B player for me. Uh, you know, he's not top billing or anything like that, but I really like, I grew to like Alden. And he was, he was actually someone that kind of stood by... Uh, Negan in that subway, that scene I just mentioned, where he actually was like, yo, we, th th this as a kid, let's go save Gage, you know? Um, uh, yeah, that's um, Frankie's kid. Um, again, man, because we only see her in like two episodes, I think. Uh, Patricia. Meh, didn't care for her. Um, was this? That was Tara's first girlfriend. Yeah, I didn't get really. Sh I didn't really care about her. Um, I remember this dude. I don't remember his name, but I remember him. He was with uh, Tyrese and Sasha at the beginning. Yeah, didn't give a shit about him. Who the fuck even is that? I don't even remember who the fuck that is. Huh. Oh well. <laughs> Matt's here. Don't care. Uh, this is what Alvarez. 
Yeah, I mean, he was the last guy to die, I think, out of uh, Ezekiel's crew. So, yeah, I'll put him in decent. Why not? Uh, Amy. Oh, whoops. No, she's not disappointing. Yeah, decent. I mean, she wasn't around for very long, but I, I still kind of jive with her. Um, garbage people tear for her because I didn't understand the point of her character at all. She was with... Um, it was her and this blonde guy that Rick and Carol encounter in, I think it was season four. And it's just, they were just, they just popped up out of nowhere. They were random as fuck. Didn't care. Um, oh, this is Andrew. Yeah, didn't care about him. I mean, he is pretty much the reason why T-Dog and uh, Lori died. But at the same time, I, I just didn't give a shit. Um, Anne or, uh, fuck, what, what the hell's her name? Uh, Jadis, Jad, Jadis, Jadis, whatever. Yeah. I didn't like her character. Nothing against the actress. I think the actress did the best that she possibly could with the material she was given. I just didn't give a shit for her. Ozzy, disappointing. Very disappointing. Because we only had him for, like, two episodes, and then they kill him off. And I'm like, I could have gotten more out of Ozzy, even though I understand that the... The introduction of the Highwaymen was kind of a conflict for season 10 between Lydia and the communities. Kind of ostracized Lydia and whatnot. Um, I forget her name, but I know who she is. She's uh, Negan's second wife. Um, actually, I kind of liked her because she kind of brought uh, Maggie around to being like, 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 you know, I still like Maggie still hates him for what he did to Glenn and Abraham and for all the conflict that was caused. But she saw that, like, Negan had turned a new leaf. He was a better guy now. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I'd put her. i say in decent tier. I think it's good enough for her. Arat. Didn't give a fuck. Beatrice. Didn't give a fuck. Um, Benjamin. I actually liked Benjamin. He was good. He was, he was good for uh, his time around. It was unfortunate that he had to die. But uh, his death was what, you know was the catalyst for the kingdom getting involved in the, uh, the all out war arc. Um, I know it's, uh, this guy's kid. Yeah. Like father, like son. There we go. Beta. I fucking love beta. Ryan Hurst's portrayal of beta was just mm, chef's kiss to that shit, dude. Well, fucking done. Michonne. Oh, whoops. No, she's not garbage people tier. She's, uh, up there with the, with the best of the best. Uh, Beth, I put Beth in good tier. I liked Beth. I was actually sad when she died. I thought her death was fucking stupid. Now, granted, I know why they killed her off, because I think she wanted to depart the show for, like, a singing career or whatever, which is fine. You know, it's personal choice. By all means, you know, you go do you. You go live your life to the fullest. But the way they went about killing her is what I thought was really stupid. Um, I know her name's Betsy. I think she's the wife of one of the guys that was running around with... Um, Michonne, and there were a couple others that were together, and this is when they were diverting that horde in Season 6. Um, I meant to put a uh, tier for, like, um, like moment characters, because, like, her death was very fucking sad, because her husband died, and she committed suicide, and, like, I think it was Carol that finds her. or It's either Carol or Jesse. I forget which one finds her, but, yeah, I'll put her in decent tier, because the moment was good. And, you know, I felt bad for her. Good old Bob. I like Bob. Put him in good tier. Bob kind of took the death of Dale from the comics. So, in the comics, uh, Dale dies in the same way that Bob does. He gets his leg cut off and eaten by the uh, cannibals or whatever. They're not called termas. They're called something different. Um, but, yeah, I'd put Bob in good tier. I liked him for when he was around. And, actually, I think they killed him a little too soon. I almost knocked him seal over. Carol. Carol's made a lot of stupid ass decisions, but that makes her human and it makes her real. So Carol's up there with the with the best of the best. Um, Carlson, meh, I didn't really care for him. I mean, he had his moment to shine and whatnot. And I'm I'm, I'm keeping an eye on the screen over here to make sure like I don't like start cutting shit out. Um, yeah, this is another one where it's just like she had a good she had a, like a moment with Rick where. Uh, her husband had died and became a walker. I think she cut the head off and then kept the head alive and I think was feeding him uh, like people or whatever. But like it, it kind of it was just a good moment for me for like Rick and everything like that because 
he kind of felt for her, and she like she just straight up said like, "Hey, listen, just let me walk with them, let me be one of them." And in fact, she shows up at the end of season four when the governor's attacking the prison compound. She actually shows back up as a walker. So I thought that was actually a nice touch. It kind of brings it all back in. Uh, I forget this dude's name, but he's in the here's Negan episode. He's the main villain. I just didn't care for him. They didn't do much with him. It's just. It was just like a fucking body for Negan to uh, get rid of, you know, for Negan to like become who he was, at least at the beginning when he formed the Sabres and whatnot. I need a quick drink. But yeah, I mean, when I put him in Mets here, that doesn't mean I dislike them. It just means I didn't give a shit. Um, Cindy. I want to put Cindy a disappointment here because it looks like Rachel's kind of taken over her role and I didn't get enough out of Cindy, I don't think. Because I did want to like Cindy and I thought she was the only one making, or one of the few making sense in the whole Oceanside group, even though I think the majority of Oceanside was down to like beat the shit out of the saviors. It's just that um, uh, Cindy's grandmother was against it. She just didn't want to deal with the the loss or whatever. So, Uh, Lizzie. Lizzie was a fucking tragic story. Like, just that poor kid. I mean, she was fucked in the head, but still a kid. And I, Carol, I do believe Carol made the right call in, uh, you know, putting her down, having her look at the flowers, as it were. I think they made the right call there. Uh, it's one of the Kingdom guys. Nah, didn't care for him. I mean, I know he was like the first one introduced. I think his name like Daniel or something, but yeah, I didn't care for him. Eric, I want you to put Eric in disappointment here because I wanted more out of Eric. Like I wanted more from Eric as a character. I, I, there, there was a lot we got from him for sure. There were some good scenes between him and Aaron, him, Aaron, and Daryl, and just him in general. But I wanted more from him. And again, this isn't me dunking on the character. This is me just dunking on the writing. Like the majority of my like putting him in the bad tiers, it's dunking on the. Um, the writing, not the character themselves, or the actor or actress, I should say, because I think pretty much e- p- p- suck for the suck of death. Um, I think pretty much every actor they brought onto the show, actor and actress they brought onto the show, did a pretty damn good job. So, the the, the only reason why I got her, these two in garbage shoes is because I felt they were a random and b unnecessary. Uh, Dante. I actually kind of like Dante and his fucking weird shit. Like, you know, he was a whisperer. He was a traitor. I did not like that they killed Sadiq, though. That part I fucking hate, but that's not a ding on the character. That's a, that's just a ding on the writing again. Lydia. I put Lydia. Yeah, Lydia's good tier. I, I really liked her character. Um, hell, I even liked her character in the comic. Her character in the comic was a little freaky, but um, in the show, I, I think they did a really good job with her. Uh, Jesse, I actually really like Jesse in the show more than I liked in the comic. In the comic, I fucking, I didn't give a fuck about her. Like, even when she died, I was like, I don't give a shit. When Jesse died in the show, I was a little bit, um, upset because I thought they were going to make her the new Andrea or something like that. Which, by the way, uh, Michonne and Rick being a thing were shown, I was 100% behind that. That's fucking cool as shit. And it worked. It was. It felt natural. It didn't feel forced. It was good chemistry, and it ran all the way up until Michonne had to exit the show. So yeah, I I was down for it. Um, this guy, he's he's one of the dudes that uh, shows up at the bar after Herschel. It's pretty much like going through his depression streak because uh, what Shane did. So yeah, again, it's one of those character moments that I really liked. Deanne. I really like Deanne. I think she was a better choice um, in terms of making a character than what we got in the comics. The comics, I think, his I think it's uh, the husband that's um, kind of the forefront, the one that's kind of you know building up Alexandria and is uh, you know kind of being close to Rick and whatnot. And I think Diane uh, De- or Deanne, excuse me, I think Deanne was much better than. Um, I don't know if it's the same name in the comic as it is in the uh, the show. I forgot I forgot the guy's name in the show too. But I think I got him somewhere in the list. Denise. I didn't want Denise to die, but I kind of liked her while she was. Oops, I kind of liked her when she was around. 
So, but are indecent. Dog. I love animals. They, they automatically go to the top tier. Uh, Morales, disappointment. Because they brought him back just to kill him. Like, what? Uh, let's see. Oh, what's this guy's name? Duncan? Disappointment. Introduce him just to kill him. Dwight. I like Dwight. Um, I think his comic variant's better, but uh, I liked what they did with him in the show. I mean, he was pretty much like uh, tit for tat with his comic book counterpart, but they, I still think it was really good. I haven't watched Fear of the Walking Dead, so that does ha- has no influence on my decision to put him where I put him. Um, oh, this guy. I forgot his fucking name. I know his wife's name. It's Tammy. Yeah, I liked him. I really liked him. And I was really sad when he died. Like, that really fucking sucked. Um, her, I'm putting in meds here because, like, the moment's not really explicitly explained. But when she tells Michonne that there's a silencer in the glove box and all that stuff, that's kind of her resignating herself to death. And I think she got disillusioned with how Negan was running things because that was the vibe I was getting. Because that, I, that I'm, she pretty much knew she was going to die. But, yeah. Um, basically, uh, Holly. It may as well be Holly from the comics. Uh, well, no, not really, because Sasha kind of took that. Well, actually, no, they kind of split Holly's character into two different ones. I forget her name. Oh, Francine. That's her name, Francine. Um, yeah, she didn't do much for me, so, Matt Tier. Ed. <laughs> Fucking Ed. Scott Gimple tier on the beer principle that I think he's a piece of shit. Not that I'm comparing Scott Gimple to a domestic abuser. Uh, I don't think Scott Gimple domestically abuses people or anything like that. But I think the I think the I, the the context I hope kind of jives with everybody. Elijah, I want to put him in awesome tier, but I don't know. I think good tier is better for him, in my opinion. I I still like the guy. I still think he's great, but. Uh, I think her name's Barbara. She's kind of the babysitter that, uh, watches over Judith when she's a child. Yeah, just, <laughs> she's, she's there. Henry. Oh, Henry, you're a tough one because I really fucking hated the kid. But when he died, I was really, like, upset and pissed off for Carol and, uh, Ezekiel. Where the fuck to put you? You know what? I might I might put you in Scott Gimple territory because you, damn, it's really tough because I want to put him in Scott Gimple tier just to kind of like you know fuck you to Scott Gimple because you killed Carl because you didn't want to pay him more and then you basically made Henry take over and Henry made a lot of stupid ass decisions and Henry also was not a character I gave a fuck about for the most part. I thought he was an idiot, but then again, he was a kid, so I kind of forgave him for the, most of his idiocy. Um, I'll put him in Mets here for now, because like when he died, I wasn't sad for him, even though he is a kid. I was more sad for Carol and Ezekiel, and I guess Daryl to an extent, and Lydia. Um, other Carlson, or Carson. Um, no, he's not garbage people. Nah, he's mad. Nah, I, I didn't give a fuck that he died. Cole, disappointment. A lot of the wardens, which were Maggie's group, didn't really... Actually, no. Actually, no. We got a bit of Cole. Yeah, Cole was around for a while. Never mind. I'll put him up there. All right, so I got to zoom out a little bit. Um, What the hell is this dude's name? Reggie. That's his name. That's Deanna's... Uh, or Deanne's uh, husband. Yeah, he was decent. I mean, he wasn't around for very long, but he was decent. Uh, Paula, yeah, I liked her. It kind of showed the other side of the, um, Rick's group Savior War, where she, her and, um, I forget the other chick's name, they were legit upset that, like, a lot of their, you know, friends and colleagues had been killed. Like, that's why they were pissed off at Carolyn, Maggie, and whatnot. They weren't necessarily malevolent people. Granted, the smoker chick and the one guy that I believe gets killed by Paula... They were fucking assholes. Like, you know, them dying, I, I was like, good, fuck them. But uh, Paula and then I forget the other chick's name. Like, I, I kind of felt bad for them because I'm like, they're not bad people. They're just on the other side of the fence from our main cast. 
Morgan. Um, not quite top tier, but definitely close to it. I really liked Morgan's character. They definitely evolved him a lot more in the show than they did in the comics. Um, Ezekiel, pretty much the same as uh, Morgan for me. Uh, this guy Frost. I like Frost. He, him, and him and Daryl had like a little bit of screen time. To, screen time together. Screen time together. Oh <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> Daryl got the torture, cut off his finger. But um, no, Daryl was like, you know, trying to say like, I'm trying to get inside, and Frost knew he was dead, and so he played along. And I'm like, you know what? Props to that. Frost was, and Frost was like the last of the Mohicans when it came to the Wardens, if I'm not mistaken. Or no, 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 Elijah was, because Elijah's like the last of the bunch. I think there's another one still alive, but she's like not even really a character. She's there. Um, I don't even remember who the fuck you are. I know you're with Oceanside, so meh. Um, Eastman. I really liked Eastman because he shaped um, Morgan's character in such a way that it affected like whole seasons. And the dude was only in one episode. I really liked Eastman. That episode with him and Morgan was really fucking good. DJ. I like DJ. He was uh, the one savior, or one of the few saviors that um, stuck around and became part of the, the, the good guy side, if you will. So, yeah, he definitely deserves to be uh, up there. Can I move that down there? No? Okay. Uh, Pamela. Pamela, Pamela, Pamela. I kind of don't care about Pamela. Like, if she died, I wouldn't be upset. And if she lived, I also wouldn't care. Andrea, garbage. No, Scott Gimple territory. Because the casting for her Andrea was perfect. I thought she was the proper one to cast. One of the proper ones. Like, there's there's a couple of you could have casted as uh, uh, Andrea. Hell, I think Charlize Theron would have been a good choice. But, I don't know, Charlize Theron's like a AAA actor. So, or actress, excuse me. But, no, I did not like how they handled her. In the show, I just I didn't like it. It I thought it was stupid. There was no reason to change her or anything like that. Even though Rashawn was really good, I just didn't really give a fuck. Um, Gareth definitely decent. They did a lot more with the cannibals in the show than they did in the comics. In the comics, they were just kind of rando bad guys. In the show, they really kind of drove home the fact that killing them was fucked up. Um, Jed, eh, didn't really care. Judith! Awesome tier. I was really, 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 really like Judith. She was fucking awesome. I believe this guy's name is Roy. Uh, meh. I might move meh to the very bottom because it's like, if I don't care, then what the hell am I talking about? And you guys care more about the characters that I'm, you know, wanting to talk about. Um, let me zoom out a bit more. There we go. Uh, Glenn... I really want to put him up there, but he's awesome tier because I want to keep the prestige of this top tier. Yeah, Glenn. When Glenn died in the comics, like that, that upset the fuck out of me. Um, it wasn't bad enough to where I had to put the comic down and like take a breather or whatever. On the show, though, when they killed both him and Abraham, like I was like, I don't know if I can watch season seven. <laughs> like that fucked me up. Ugh. Steven Young did a fantastic job as Glenn, though, so shout out to him. Uh, we got Connie. Easy. I like Connie. Her and Daryl's, like, relationship is just so fucking cool. Magna. Eh, decent. I'm not a big fan of Magna. Um, I might actually pull up my old video and, like, do a side-by-side -side comparison. Like, where I put everybody. Um, Herschel Jr., I like what they did with Herschel. I actually really did like what they did with him. Because they don't really do much with him in the comics, but in the show, they've really done a lot with him. Uh, is that Dwayne? Yeah, it's Dwayne. I'll put him in decent because I did care about him. Like, you know, I felt bad for the kid because his mom died and his dad was going crazy. And because of all those circumstances, he ended up dying, unfortunately. Like, he, getting eaten by your own mom. Like, that's fucked up. Uh, Tina, um... Meh. We, we knew her for an episode and she died and I was like, was I supposed to scare? Uh, let's see. Rosita. I like Rosita. 
Uh, her season seven self was kind of stupid, but after everything after um, Sasha's big sacrifice, like I, I was really behind Rosita. So uh, Milton, I'll put in good tier. I liked Milton. He was kind of the um, I wouldn't say no, not devil's advocate, but he he started to see the governor for what the fuck he was. Laura, decent. Oops, yeah, decent. Uh, is this Marco? Meh. Didn't care about him. Uh, it's Regina. Didn't care about her. Jesus, the saith the Lord. Actually, you know what? I'll put him up there. I really like Jesus. I was really pissed off when they killed him off, too. Like, I was actually... I, I thought the way that he died was cool as shit, because I'm like, that's how you introduce the Whispers. That's how you introduce the next big threat, you know, following the Saviors. But, you know... I still pissed off that they killed off Jesus. Um, that's... Who the fuck is that? I don't even know who the fuck that is, so I'm going to move him back down there. Um, oh yeah, this is the guy that, um, that, uh, Dwight kills, and he's in season seven, I think it's like episode two, or, or no, no, episode three. Uh, the dude basically is just disillusioned with the saviors, he wants out, he's like, I'm done, dude, like, I went out. And so he dips... Is there a way I can... Uh, what's normal view? No, okay, that just changed it back to that. Yeah. I'm not blind, everybody. I thought there's a way to, like, broaden it. Like, make it wider or something. Like, I don't know. Uh, anyways, Aaron. Awesome tier. I like Aaron. His character, like... Is kind of a meh in the uh, the comics. If I was doing a comic um, tier lister, I'd be like meh. But I actually really like Aaron in the uh, TV show, and I think they kind of replaced him with Rick. Kind of like he's kind of filling in the role of Rick in terms of like some of the lines and the dialogue and whatnot. Abraham, I fucking love Abraham. <laughs> that dude's one liners were some solid ass shit. Um, Aiden, yeah, I didn't give a fuck about him. Uh, oops, hello. The other, yeah, I'll put him with Ozzy. Uh, he's the other highwayman. I just, the highwaymen seemed cool and all, but they were they weren't around long enough, and like I wanted more from them. So again, the disappointment tier isn't meant to be a knock on the character; it's meant to be like a knock on the writing. Like I wanted more from these characters because these characters are like, hey, you know, you seem cool. I want more from you. Oh, show decided to kill you. Well, never fucking mind then. Alpha. <laughs> uh, what's her name? Samantha Morton. Jesus Christ, she nailed that role so fucking well. Like, good, good, t good on you, Samantha. You were creepy and fucking disturbing and scary as hell, and just God, such a fantastic villain. Um, Amber, she didn't do shit. Um, uh, oh, he's one of the the prisoners. I actually, really liked him. What's it, what the hell is his name? AJ? Axel? Yeah, Axel. I think his name was Axel. Um, so originally, Axel was supposed to be really fucked up and uh, do some like naughty things to uh, Beth in like, a gruesome, horrible way. Because in the comics, his, com or his com comic book counterpart, um, I don't know if he just like straight up kills uh, Herschel's two youngest daughters or what the fuck he does. Because I haven't read the comics in a hot minute. But like... The dude was straight up disturbed, and yeah, like, <laughs> it's, it's fucked up. Like, viewer discretion advice, indeed. Oh, Brandon, he, he fucking piece of shit. Um, yeah, just Negan fanboy, whatever. Um, who the hell are you? Oh, you're one of the Alexandrians. Yeah, I didn't care about you. Coral! Coral! I'm really pissed off that they killed off Carl, and... From what I gather, and by all means, correct me if I'm wrong, but the reason they killed off Carl is because Chandler Rake turned 18, therefore they had to pay him more. So AMC was like, uh-uh, cutting costs, cutting costs. Which, fuck that shit, man. Really fuck that shit, because Carl was supposed to be the future of everything. Like, you know, if you wanted to cut costs, kill off Rick. Because Rick was inevitably supposed to die in the show. And hell, he dies in the comics. And it was supposed to be Carl's show from there on. And you would have saved even more money. Like, come on. 
Get with the fucking program. Fucking Scott Kimple ass motherfucker. Um, I, I, don't, I don't remember this guy's name, but I remember that he's the one that was like really doubting Rick. It was like, you know, we should take out Rick because he's going to lead us to, you know, death and destruction and blah, blah, blah. Um, and then he turned around and then he died. So, yeah, actually, disappointment. Because I'm like, oh, they didn't go anywhere with that shit. Um, I, like, so on principle, I would put Dale in awesome tier, but because they, like, just knocked his character off due to, um, conflicts. No, you know what? No, I'll still honor Dale. He's an awesome tier. Um, oh, this is Betsy's husband that, uh, God, his death was horrible like that. dude got fucked up. That was really sad. You know, they, they tried to do something with him, so I'll put him in decent. Oh, Davey. <laughs> right where you belong. Actually, no. Garbage people. You know what? Matter of fact, there. I'll do you a freebie, Scott Gimple. You're not as bad as garbage people. Uh, Don. Scott Gimple tier. Like, just... I hated Dawn. I didn't give a shit about her. She was a, such a lame ass antagonist. Just I didn't give a fuck. Uh, what's her name? Diane. Oops. Yeah, Diane. Don't care. Uh, that was uh, yeah. This dude's wife. Yeah, I didn't really care about her. Like it sucked that she died, but I didn't give a fuck. What the hell is that? Oh, that's um, he's from the hilltop. I forget his fucking name. Did he die? Yeah, I, I, I don't even remember him. Enid! I put her in good tier. I liked Enid. She was good people. And she was a good, uh... I thought she was going to be the comic counterpart to Sophia since they killed off Sophia in season two. But, uh, I mean, I guess she kind of was, but kind of wasn't. Actually, hold on. Let me make this right. There. Um... Yeah, I guess not. Um... That's one of the housewives that Carol befriended. Didn't care. Eugene Porter. Eh, put him in awesome tier. Eugene's... Eugene's had highs and lows with me. Um, his comic counterpart's a lot better, in my opinion, because when Negan... Like, Negan does, I think, capture Eugene. I forget exactly why. It's not because Rosita tries to kill him, but he does capture Eugene, and he wants Eugene to work for him. Eugene's like, oh, fuck you. You killed my best friend, Abraham. Like, fuck you. Granted, in the show, I get why they went the route that they did with him because it makes sense that he would want to be like you know, like he's he is a coward. Like he will lie and whatnot to you know save himself. So it's like okay, show I get it. Um, Frankie, super. Sorry, I'm thinking of One Piece. Um. I have a soft spot for Redhead, so she's going in decent here just on that principle alone. Um, that, and she was one of the wives that actually had, like, a little bit of character to her because we didn't get really much out of, what's her name, Tanya. Like, she, after season, what was it, seven or eight or whatever, she just kind of disappeared into the nothing. Amber disappeared into the nothing. Frankie stuck around. Gabriel, Father Gabriel, and the Lord saith amen. Putting him in awesome tier. Uh, Gabriel just... You know, in the, in the comics, he's he he, he does he does kind of grow back into being like a team player for like Rick and company. Uh, sadly, he actually meets his end in the Whisper War. But the show has done a lot of good with him, in my personal opinion. Uh, the only time I was like really hating him, um, aside from when he was a coward at the when they first met him, was uh, with Gage. Which, <laughs> funny enough, is the next one up here. Um, Gage, yeah, sorry, kid, like you. Kind of sucks, so... I know, I felt bad for him because he was a kid, but at the same time, you know. Uh, I think this is not... Yeah, I believe this guy's name is Gary. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Um, Gavin. I actually like Gavin. Gavin was one of the saviors that seemed reasonable to an extent, although they kept bringing that one doofus, um... What the hell? Jared? Was that, the, was that that fucking doofus's name? The one that, like, shot uh, Benjamin in the leg or whatever and was, like, having beef with Richard? It's like, dude, the guy's clearly bad for business. He's clearly fucking up your negotiations. Like, don't fucking bring him around. Like, fuck off. But aside from that, I think Gavin was reasonable. Like, I think he wanted amicable relations with 
the kingdom. Um, yeah, you're, you, you showed up and then you disappeared and that was it. Um, I forget her fucking name. What was it? Uh, what the hell's her fucking name? Bobby? I don't think it's Bobby. I don't remember what the hell her name is. Um, yeah, it's one, oh, he's one of the, uh, creep dudes. Yeah. Stick him next to, uh, Davey there. The governor! Governor belong in awesome tier because the governor was like the first like big bad that we really um, got to experience, you know, until Negan came around and then of course Alpha. So yeah, I really like the governor. Um, I forgot the actor's name, but he did such a damn good job. And the governor in the show is so much better than the one in the comics. The one in the comics is, no pun intended, comically evil. Like just the dude's got like no fucking chill and like no re- like I don't understand why people follow this fuck nugget. Um, Gregory, <laughs> Gregory, <laughs> I really liked Gregory, <laughs> like for all of his shenanigans and shit. I thought he was kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> Margaret, uh, Heath disappointment because they wrote him off the show and didn't really do anything with him. Herschel, <laughs> it goes without saying he belongs up at the top. Um, Holly disappointment because she didn't do Jack. Oops. Uh, Jackie, actually, I like Jackie. Um, uh, no, oh, this, this fuck muffin. Um, now I, you know, because it got a rise out of me, like, I got some emotion when it comes to this fucker. Like, they did a good job making me hate this guy, and the actor did a fantastic job making me hate the character. So, that's off to you, dude. Like, you really knew how to play an asshole. Jerry! Oh, wait, hold on. I was supposed to click the other guy. Uh, Jerry, <laughs> goes without saying. Um, ah, this is the CDC guy. I forget his name, though. Yeah, put him in awesome tier. Actually, a funny thing about him is, um, or not funny thing, but trivia for you, is that the last thing he says to Rick before they escape in season one is actually the name of the episode in season seven, episode one. Like, the day will come where you won't be happy. Or we're not grateful. Um, Jim. Yeah, I like Jim. The dude was kind of depressing and sad. I felt bad for him. Uh, oh, yeah, this is the kid that uh, Carl kills. Yeah, actually, man, I, there, that scene just doesn't really do anything. Uh, it's, this dude's leader of the Claimers. Yeah, I didn't really give a shit for him. Fat Joey. I didn't give a fuck about you either, buddy. Uh, Jules. I think her name's Jules. She's fucking hot, by the way. Like, she's just smoking. Um, but at the same time, yeah, I don't really particularly care. Uh, this douche Magoo. Because I know he's the savior that, like, is a dick to Henry. And, well, pff, he's a dick in general. And then he gets killed by Oceanside. Yeah, like, what was the point of him? What was the point of him? Cal, I think he's, yeah, he's one of the hilltop guards. Yeah, I didn't really care. Uh, who, who the fuck are you? Oh, Karen! That's, uh, Tarisa's girl. Um, yeah, I didn't really care for you. Sorry. Uh, Kelly, where's Connie at? I put Connie in awesome tier, right? Or did I put her in good tier? Where the hell did I put her? Oh, yeah, there she is. Okay. Yeah. I like Kelly. Um, uh, yeah, it's another Alexandria. I don't give a shit about. It. Oh, this guy. Oh, this guy. <laughs> He's such a douche. And I love it. <laughs> um, Lance. Like, the show did some really awesome shit with Lance. Like, that shit was really good. Um,. Who the hell is this? I don't even know who the hell you are, dude. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Leah. Yeah, dis- or, no, Scott Gimple's here. Even though I know Scott Gimple's not in charge of the show, when it came to her, I just, I did not care about Leah. Um, actually, you know what? You know what? 
I, I expected something from her because that was like a love interest that Daryl had. So disappointment here. Um. Oh, what's her fucking name? She's the one that kills the governor. She's actually the one that legit kills the governor. I didn't really get much out of her, so, meh. Nah. Lori. I liked her more in the comic. Yeah, Scott Gimple tier. Lucille, the queen. I really loved the Here's Negan episode, so I'm, and I'm gonna go ahead and let you know, bias as fuck. When it comes to Negan, uh, Luke. Yeah, I'll put Luke in good tier. I'll put him in good tier. Uh, Maggie. Oops, shit. I don't know. She's not in decent tier. She's. Yeah, she's in awesome tier because she made a lot of stupid ass decisions. That I just was not behind uh, during season uh, eleven. That I thought that, or I mean, I know I know why she got written off in the show. It was like a, I think she had some other shit she wanted to do, which you know, okay, that's fine, it's whatever. But I don't know, just a lot of the decisions she made in season eleven, I wasn't a big fan of. But she did come around again, so yeah, she still maintains her stop, or her stop, her spot as a a top character of in my like tier list maker. Um, who's this? Oh, um. What the hell's his name? Mendez, I think. He was like one of the governor's top guys. I actually kind of liked him. Don't know why, but I kind of liked him. Uh, it's one of the Garris guys. Yeah, I Martin. That's his name, Martin. Yeah, because he was one that was fucking with Tyrese. Yeah, I liked him. Uh, Gamma, aka Mary. I put her in good tier. I liked Mary, and I was sad when she died. Uh, Mercer's sister. Yeah, decent, I guess. I don't know. I haven't gotten enough out of her, I think, yet. I mean, we've got six more episodes left of the last season. Uh, Mika. Well, where's Lizzie at? Yeah, I'm going to put her with Lizzie. As fucked up as that is, but that's where they belong. Together. Mercer. I like Mercer. Um, yeah. Awesome tier. I like Mercer. In the comic, he's a badass. In the show, he's a fucking badass. Merle. Yeah, I like Merle, too. I mean, he was racist as fuck, and a douchebag, and an asshole, but I couldn't help but love the guy. Oh, you know, that's Mika. Wait, who the hell is this? What the hell are you? Where'd you come from? Wait, is that Gracie? That might be Gracie. Yeah, I'll put Gracie in decent here. I don't mind. Yeah, that's, that's Mika. All right, let me zoom out a beat. Oh, shit! All right, so we're on our final thingy here. Um, That's the other savior woman. Yeah, I felt bad for her. I kind of felt bad for her. Uh, this douche Magoo, who was with uh, the governor during season four. Yeah, I didn't really give a shit about him. I don't know who the fuck you are. Nabila. Ah, she's cute. I like her. Oh, the grandma. Garbage. Negan, of course, goes at the top. Lucia is thirsty. Or no, Lucille isn't thirsty today. But I am. So. I'm going to make me a drink. Cheers. But yeah, I know. Jeffrey Dean Morgan nailed it as Negan. Fucking nailed it. Nicholas. I liked what they were going for with Nicholas. He gets decent. Uh, Noah. I put Noah in good tier. I, I kind of want to put him in disappointment tier because I didn't like that they killed Beth. To save him, then just to kill him a couple episodes later. Like, that that kind of shit I don't like. But, it is what it is. Um, another creepy McGee from the hospital. Olivia, she gets decent tear. I felt bad for her. Like, I actually kind of liked Olivia in the show. In the comic, I don't really remember much of her. But in the show, I like, was just legit pissed off at Arat for killing her. Although, the reason why Arat kills her, I believe, is... Um, 
because she was the one that didn't account for all the weapons. That's why a rock kills her. Um, I believe this is Scott. Yeah, I, you know what? All right, Scott, you get a pass. Otis. I felt bad for Otis, and I thought he was a decent guy. He was trying to do the right thing. Uh, I believe this guy's name is Owen. He's one of the wolves. Yeah, I like his relationship with Denise. Um, one of the first guys to die of that flu or whatever. I, I didn't care for him. Oh, this douchebag. Yeah, garbage. I believe that's Pete. That's, um... What's her face? Is, uh, uh, Jesse's hus husband, yeah. Um... Oh, yeah, you're the brother of the other douche that worked for the governor. Uh, yeah, didn't care about you much. Pope. Disappointment. Th like, when the Reapers get introduced, you know, that first scene where they're, like, walking through, like, there's all these, like, hung bodies, these bites that are hung upside down, and you see these fuckers in masks with, like, machetes and knives and shit. I'm like, oh, let's go. These guys are, like, badass as hell. And then they just kind of don't do shit. So yeah, Pope was a disappointment. Like, he was just such a boring villain. Um, Princess. I actually really like Princess. I didn't like her as much at the beginning of season... Was it season 11? The first half of season 11 is when she's introduced, if I'm not mistaken. Or no, it's the end of season 10 that she's introduced. Yeah, I didn't really... I didn't like her at first, but she's grown on me so heavily. Uh, Rachel, decent, I guess. Uh, who the hell? Oh, yeah, that's right. Randall. That's the kid that uh, Shane kills. Um, Nah, didn't really care that you died, dude. Richard, decent. Rick Grimes. Rick motherfucking Grimes. Who the hell is that? Oh, that's R.J. Grimes. Um, I'll put him in decent because I don't want to put him in mad here. It's like it's not like I don't care about him. It's just he hasn't done much. Um, that's one of the kids that the whispers killed. Yeah, I didn't really give a shit about him dying. Um, Ron. Yeah, don't give a fuck about you, Sam. I would put Sam a decent tier, but it's more that I cared about how Carol felt about him dying than how Sam himself died. So, yeah, you get to stick with your brother. Oh, yeah, the blonde guy. Uh, yeah, you, you go in the garbage. Sasha? Eh. You know what? I, I was going to put her in a good tier, but I'll, I'll throw her up an awesome tier. Oh, you know, that's Scott. Wait, who the hell is the other black guy that I was... Who the hell is the other one, then? Who the hell is that? Oh, is that T-Dog? I can't see. <laughs> I'm blind. Wait, no. I, I know who that is. I just don't recall the name off the top of my head. Oh, that's, um... Oscar, yeah, yeah, okay, Oscar, yeah, you, yeah, you belong in decent tier, that's for sure. Okay, all right, yeah, Scott, we'll we'll, we'll put you next to uh, him. <laughs> this motherfucker, Spencer, what a little shit turd. Um, <sighs> I don't even know where to fuck the. Actually, you know what? I wouldn't give a shit if you died or not. So fuck you. <laughs> Shane, awesome tier. I like Shane. They did more with him in the show than they did in the comic, and the actor just fucking nailed it. Uh, another one of the Karens that Carol hung out with. Sherry, decent. Uh, I believe her name is Shira. She was um, pretending to be Stephanie. I actually put her in decent tier because that... I mean, she... That deception or whatever was definitely a loop that I didn't see coming. So, fair enough. Uh, Shiva, go go be with Dog. You know, you two be friends. Be playmates. I forgot this dude's name, but I remember he works for the governor. Meh. <laughs> so, 
Sadiq. God, I want to throw you in disappointment so fucking hard, but I know where you actually belong, or where you should belong. The way they killed him off, I thought was so fucking stupid. I really like Sadiq's character, and he's also the one that Carl dialed, Carl dialed for? Carl died for. And the way they killed him off was just so stupid, and I really liked Sadiq's character, and I thought he was going to have like a, like his own character arc. But now they snuffed it. Well, I wouldn't put him in disappointment tier. I'd put him in Scott Gimple tier. Even though I think, uh, what's his name? Angela Kang had taken over by that point. So I guess I can't really blame Scott Gimple for that. Simon. I really, I like Simon. <laughs> he was fucked up, but I really liked him. Yeah, I know. Uh, Stephen Ogg just fucking nailed it. Uh, Sophia, decent tier. I felt bad for her. And I kind of liked her. Spencer. By all rights, he belongs in Matt here, but he at least tried. I mean, at least when that, like in uh, season six, like when they were fighting off the walkers, like he hopped in, he pulled his weight, he did his shit. So yeah, um, the doctor guy from the hospital, Scott Gimple tier. Oh, there's T Dog. Yeah, T Dog goes in good tier. We like T Dog. Um, Tammy, where's her husband at? And I. Poked him. Oh, yeah, there he is. Okay. Yeah, we'll put them two together where they belong because they're both dead. Uh, Tanya, one of the Negan wives. Yeah, I don't give a shit about you. So, Matt, here you go. Tara. I really liked Tara, and I would almost put her in awesome tier, but I'll put her in good tier. Uh, Tobin, decent. Oh, the CIA guy that works for um, Lance. Actually, he was kind of a good villain. So, yeah, I'll put him in decent. Um, oh, yeah, the freaking asshole that tries to kill Rick or whatever. Yeah, I didn't really give a fuck about you. Uh, Yumiko's brother. He helped out Ezekiel, so that gives him some points. That's, uh, where's... Um, Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I'll put him in mid tier. Uh, Tyrese, you belong in awesome tier because I really liked your character, my guy. Uh, actually, I'm putting you in disappointment. Uh, his character in the comic isn't really like a big deal, but just the way they did him, I just thought it was weird. It was kind of stupid, kind of pointless. And hell, do we even know what the fuck happened to him? Did he just like get written off the show entirely? Um, is that Yumiko? Yeah, Yumiko. Oh, Yumiko is fucking awesome. Like, the way she broke down the, um, what are those people called? The ones that are kind of, like, interrogating, like, Yumiko, uh, Princess, Eugene, and Ezekiel. I forgot what they're called, but the way she just deconstructed their own methodology against them was some of the most badass shit I've ever seen. So Yumiko is definitely awesome tier. I'd almost put her in the uh, topper echelon there. And then, who the hell is this Joker that gets me? Oh, yeah, Luke. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> I didn't give a shit about you, dude. Sorry. All right, so. Let me zoom in a bit here. Uh, let me also, actually, you guys can see him. Yeah. Hold on, let me just zoom a little bit more. Boom. All right, so we got, for the Negan, Rick, Daryl uh, tier, let me uh, adjust them. So we got Negan, we got Rick, we got Daryl, we got Sean, Carol, Dog, Shiva, Jesus, Abe, Herschel, and Jerry. Then awesome tier, you can see here. Awesome tier you can see here. Ha ha, that rhymed. This is my good tier. And this is my decent tier. The mad tier, I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty sure no, no, nobody's going to dispute too many of these. Oh, I, I, I might move Jules. Yeah, Jules, come here. Come here, come here, Jules. Yeah, there you go. Um, nah, I'm just joking. Um... Yeah, my disappointment. I would put disappointment, but it kept cutting off the T. So it's just like, it was like disappointment T tier. 
It just it looks stupid. Um, Scott Gimple here, yeah. I guess I can't blame him for I can't really blame him for that. So yeah, I guess he moves down to garbage tier. I mean, I should say that Ed's like a badly written character. Like he was just a douchebag. Yeah, you know what? Garbage. Well, no, I shouldn't say garbage either. I should say Matt here. Well, no, I should say no. I don't know. I don't know where to put him. Because I'm kind of bouncing between like being the like the like the objective. Or you can't really say a, a character is objectively good or not. Never mind. This is just how I feel. If you disagree, by all means. But yeah, this is uh this is how my lineup is, as of the second half of season eleven. Which is the final season, which I think is good. Um, there might have been a couple of the, um, what the fuck are they called? The Commonwealth people that I might have missed, but I think they're like minor characters, like you don't really see much of them. But yeah, let me hop over here. Um, let me see, Luca Blight, sixty nine. Whoops, there, yeah, Walking Dead, Tear Maker. Or tier list. Oh, sweet. Oh, no, never mind. It's Katie's. Katie, was, Katie I, I don't even know how to say her last name. I'm sorry. But, yeah, she's she's awesome. Go watch her stuff. Uh, yeah, let me just hop over to my YouTube studio. Uh, let's see. Uh, Walking Dead. Ranking the Walking Dead cares. Here we go. Okay. Uh, you go over there. Damn, I was doing only, like, main characters. Alright, so let's see. So we have Negan, Rick, Michonne, Carol, Dog, Shiva, Herschel. Let me close that. And what do we got now? Yep. So yeah, Jesus, Abe, and Jerry moved up. Yep, Jerry moved up. Simon, I think Simon moved down. <laughs> you could see the the like to dislike ratio there. <laughs> you guys did not like me putting Daryl in decent here. I can tell. <laughs> um. Yeah, I definitely had more characters to work with. So, yeah, this video is definitely longer. But, yeah, so uh, if you want to take your screen caps and compare and contrast, here you go. And then here's the old list. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, yeah, that's right, because I, I hadn't watched uh, Season 9 yet, so I didn't know really where to put them for the most part. Which is kind of strange because I ranked, I put beta up there, but I didn't move any of them. That's yeah, that is kind of strange, huh? It's almost like I don't know what the fuck I was talking about. Maybe, but uh, anywho, folks, I've been Devil Watts or Devil Jinx. Damn it, I changed my name so many times I even forget my own name. But uh, I've been Devil Jinx. Uh, this is my official, unofficial uh, ranking for all the Walking Dead characters. At least once it mattered to me. I mean, there were a couple in here. That um, I forgot. I don't even remember why the fuck I put them in there. Uh, but um, yeah, I'll leave a link to the tier list itself if in case you want to, you know, mingle with it or whatever. And uh, if there's any characters that I didn't cover that you want me to cover or talk about, by all means, leave a comment down below, and I will happily get to it uh, when I can, of course. But uh, yeah, anyway, folks, have a good one, Lucille and the Devil Jinx are signing out.